Hi, in this video we'll see how to set up Primavera 6 uh, then we'll see how to upgrade from Primavera 6.0 to Primavera 6.7 first of all this is the source of Primavera 6 we will run the setup it's need administration rights This is the welcome screen. We'll click next. Then we'll enter the product code. Then next, you accept the terms of the license agreement. Ah, this is the most important step now. We have to uh, choose Primavera stand alone because uh, client application needs server and something we don't have so if you want it, uh, a stand alone copy this is the most important step that you have to select the stand alone then click next you, ha you can choose here where to install click next next in this window whether you choose to install sample projects or just do not install any sample projects so I'll keep the sample projects and click next this is the folder next then here we'll choose our license you should have the license file then we'll click next then install It will install the SQL Server database and install so many files depend on your uh, computer speed. We'll see now the installation process. Sometimes it give it appears this message in uh, Windows 7. So just click don't show this message again and run program. Now it is installing the SQL Server. You don't have to do anything. Just wait until the installation complete. As we said before, uh, the installation duration depend on your computer speed. Sometimes it take long time. While it is installing, I'll give you some tips and tricks uh, for the database connection. Uh, sometimes when you try to open the Primavera, it tells you connection failed. One of the common uh, uh, reason of this one is you change the computer name after you install the Primavera do not change your computer name because the database will not open so this is one of the common uh, mistakes user do that they change their computer names then they will not be able to open the Primavera Now we're still waiting the installation. Another common reason for not opening Primavera, if you don't have administration rights to your computer, you have to have administration rights or when you open the Primavera just right click and then open as administrator we'll see how to open as administrator this is one of the reasons usually Primavera will not accept to uh, connect to the database if you are if you don't have administration rights to your computer 
it is very easy the setup is very easy nothing complicated at all if you just follow the same steps it should work fine It is almost done now. Just we are in the very final stage of the installation. Now it's creating the database for the Primovera if everything going fine you should be forwarding now to the database and this is the important step now connection successful it means that we install the Primavera probably if something wrong happens the connection will not be successful so we'll click finish then again next connection connection successful then finish and now the Primavera already installed we can now the usually the login name and the password same or admin then we'll click OK and the Primavera is now working now we'll go to the next step to upgrade our Primavera from Primavera 6 to Primavera 6 version 7 so I'll close this one and I'll go to, to Primavera 6 version 7 this is Primavera Oracle the database based on Oracle not SQL like Primavera 6 so we'll just upgrade now it's telling us a, a previous version of Primavera has been detected continue the setup will upgrade it so this is what you want ok next so this is engineering and consultant next and construction here also we will choose Primavera P6 stand alone as well this is very important so this is ok Next, 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 and install. Sometimes is giving us a, a message that the following application should be closed before continuing the installation. It doesn't tell me anything, so just I'll say ignore. It's now upgrading the Primavera from Primavera 6 to Primavera 6 version 7, which using different database and almost the same interface but the database connection and everything else is different
I recommend if you have a Primavera version 6 to upgrade immediately to Primavera 6.7 because there is a lot of problems in Primavera 6 regarding ruling up the percentage and uh, calculating the earned value most of this problem solved in Primavera 6 version 7 now it's up upgrading the database to work with Primavera 6 version 7 I'll click yes and then click yes and then finish and you have to restart your computer to get the effect so I will restart it later yes the same user and password And congratulations, you have upgraded your Primavera to Primavera 6 version 7.